I want to show you very briefly how offload smart scan offload processing can actually function. I'm working here just in the little demonstration Scott schema. I'll enable auto tracing so that we can see the effect on execution plans, which will also show me whether offload processing is indeed possible. So a simple query. I'll use a function here so that we can check whether that too gets offloaded, as well as the column selection and the row selection and column projection. Um, we'll have a predicate where Right, so that little statement, it returned these three scalar values, as we would expect. How was it actually executed? It was a select statement, and it was executed table access full. That's the only way to run that statement, given the indexes on that table. But in the middle of this, we see the keyword storage. That keyword tells me that this statement could indeed be offloaded to the storage tier. Furthermore, we see down here in the predicate information, storage. That keyword again tells me that the row filtering could have been done by the storage tier. So what happened is that the storage tier did not return every block of the EMP table to the database buffer cache, where my session would then have had to extract these values. All it returned to the instance was these three scalar values directly into the PGA of my server process. Now, there's also the init cap function there. Was that offloadable or not? There is a view, v SQL FN metadata, and that will tell us for each function whether or not it can be offloaded. So just select its name, whether it's offloadable, where offloadable is yes, and put in a sort order as well. And we see that in the current release, there are 393 functions that can be offloaded. Which ones? All the typecasting functions, truncations, trims. Now, these are functions that get executed millions of times an hour in many, many environments. No tier two particularly important ones, bloom filters. The offload capability for bloom filters allow us to, down, allow us to offload joins of facts to dimension tables. Those two in star schemas can be offloaded. The function I used was in fact init cap. And just for completeness, we'll scroll through all of these and we'll see that init cap itself is an offloadable function. And there it is, along with many others. There are two classes of function that cannot be offloaded, and those are the aggregation functions and the analytic functions. I mentioned them just for completeness. There's an architectural issue there because aggregations and analytics potentially require access to all rows in the table and a row might be distributed across cells. That's a technical issue why they can't be offloaded. But virtually all other functions can be offloaded with terrific drops in CPU usage and combining that with the reduction of data traffic into the instances will give us vast performance improvements.